My name is Alex and I'm a current senior studying computer science at Johns Hopkins and I'm also the founder of Paths, which is a social network that's making mentorship scalable, accessible and on demand. And we're solving one of the biggest problems out there, which is that career navigation really sucks. And if you need any evidence, uh, think back to when you were a senior in college or go to a college campus and ask any senior, what do you want to do after you graduate? And the look of terror on most of their faces should tell you everything you need to know about how the current system isn't working for them. But in all seriousness, this has major implications. In fact, over half of recent graduates will leave their first job in less than a year. And the question of what do you want to do next keeps coming back. In fact, nearly 90 million people are actively asking that question right now. But we like to think about this problem as a reframe that mentorship doesn't scale. See, right now, if I'm a student trying to get mentorship, what it looks like is going on LinkedIn for hours upon hours, sending a bunch of cold DMs, hoping to convert some of those to networking calls where I learn about that person's story, I take notes, if I'm diligent, I send a thank you. You can see how this process gets overwhelming uh, pretty quickly, which prohibits access to mentorship for a lot of students, um, but also it's really inefficient. In fact, on the mentor end, what we hear a lot of is that they're answering the same questions over and over again. And so for mentors, they need a way to scale the impact of their experiences and advice um, in a much quicker and easier way. And that's why we built PATH which is a social network that makes mentorship scalable and accessible by allowing mentors to record stories about their careers as well as answer career questions through short audio clips. Let's see how it works. So here we have a typical paths profile. This is actually a Hopkins alum, Brendan Cam. And like LinkedIn, I can see what school he went to, where he works. And then I can actually hear about his path. So what was it like building his company? Thanks, uh, how he scaled it. Like LinkedIn, I can also see his experiences. Um, but then again, the magic of paths is that I can ask him a question myself. So I might say, hey, Brendan, what advice do you have for a student that's interested in entrepreneurship? And the way it works is that he will get a notification and see all be able to see all of his questions over here on this side panel and then simply be able to record and answer up to 10 minutes and save it to his profile where it can be streamed shared liked commented on i can even ask a follow-up question if i want um and what's really cool is that we've been seeing recently people taking these snippets and organizing them much like songs organized into playlists. And these playlists play just like a podcast would, which fits into the listening behavior um, of audio that has become really popular, which is to put it on and then go do something else. So what we learned from our first 100 users in beta is that not surprisingly, the ability to give back at scale in a really quick and easy way is a value prop that really resonates with creators and mentors. And so we've seen great engagement metrics around actually creating content. For consumers, what we've seen is that passive on-the-go listening by organizing these short answers into playlists is what really works for them, which makes sense because that's the advantage of audio. I can put it on and I can go and do something else. And so what we're doing now is acting on those insights from our first 100 users and building out our library of playlists which fuel our growth flywheel. So for example, here we have a playlist, what was a failure that led you to later success, which is actually shareable. So I can tweet it out, I can send it on, I can put it on Facebook, I can send it to a friend. They don't have to have an account, they can come on and listen and hear about 20 different perspectives of people answering that question, talking about what they wish or what was a failure that led them to a later success. What this does is it brings in new users, which get context by listening to these playlists to be asked new questions, which then generates more content that can be organized into playlists for us. And again, why this works is because it aligns the incentives of everyone. For mentors, it gives them a way to scale their impact in a really quick and easy way. For students, it gives them access to mentorship on demand anytime and anywhere they want. And for universities and companies, this is actually a new channel for them to market and increase their own brand awareness. So in terms of our go-to-market, first, we've built on the idea of being able to share a playlist link for anyone to listen to, but now we've made it so you can share a link so anyone can be invited to join and record an answer. And so at the end of this um, pitch, you guys can actually scan a QR code and answer this question yourself. What advice would you give to a student entrepreneur? And I could tweet this out. I could put this on Facebook again. Anyone could come on, record an answer, sign up, and build a playlist themselves. So that has been huge for us to both generate content and new signups. Second, we'll be partnering with universities to engage their uh, students as well as their alumni networks. And we'll be targeting the best kind of top 10 schools to start that have the most reputable alumni networks and brands.
In terms of how we make money, it's a freemium model. So anyone can come on and listen to a content, but they will have to listen to ads if they want to turn off the ads and get access to premium features such as advanced search, unlimited questions, seeing who views your profile. Um, they'll have to pay a monthly membership. And we anticipate being able to license contracts with universities and companies that cover memberships for their constituents, much like how Hopkins covers comm memberships for all their students currently. And this is a huge opportunity, not just because we think we'll be able to penetrate the college to professional market, but also we think that this applies for any high schoolers trying to figure out where to go to college, as well as for any professionals trying to figure out what's next. So in terms of our team, I've been building this solo for about a little under the past year, but we have a rock star team of advisors that have been helping me out and a great product that I invite you all to try out yourself by scanning this QR code. So thanks for your time and I'm happy to answer any questions about paths.